Hello, it's Mark Stever for that Healthy Living Carpet Care and Restoration and I'm here to do a demonstration on some of the commonly asked questions I get asked over the years and about pet urine and pet stains and the odor that goes with it. Well, we're going to do a little demonstration with pouring something similar to pet urine on a carpet. You can see the discoloration, you can see the size of it, you can see the quantity of it, and you can see what happens. Um, Carpets are not waterproof, and I'm going to show you this. When I flip this up, you see the stain on the top, look on the back side. It's all yellowed and discolored, so the urine soaked into the back side of the carpet. And then we got this under pad down here, and look at this. We've got all this mo moisture from the urine soaked into this under pad. Okay, and it sits like that. Okay, and it's been like that, you know, usually they've been like that for a while, and then in the summertime, whether there's some humidity or whether there's a, another water leak in the house and all of a sudden you've got this odor or you call somebody in to clean the carpet and I'm going to tell you um, if you've got a pet stain like this you call someone in to clean the carpet they're going to clean this side of the carpet they're not trying to get the back side of the carpet wet they're not cleaning the under pad and they're not cleaning the floor and the interesting thing about urine urine is unique in its properties as a liquid it's on the pH scale it's usually in the minus 3 to minus 5 pH, slightly acidic, but when it goes into the form we consider dry, it never dries, it, become, it changes to the other side of the pH scale up to plus 8, plus 9, and it, in an alkaline form, and it crystallizes, and it never dries completely, and the, the beauty of that is, for someone in this business, we can always find it, because we can take our little moisture meter, even if the carpet's dry, and stick it in there, and we can find the urine in the underpan. Okay, so there is some products, some enzymes that sometimes will work for small concentrations, but you've got to remember that wherever that urine went, all those areas have to be in contact with some kind of product to remove it. If it's not all removed, the odor will come back every time. So what we generally recommend, and what works the best, is to lift the carpet, clean this side of the carpet, clean the back side of the carpet. Usually recommend taking out the under pad that was contaminated. Sometimes you have to clean and seal the floor underneath, put a new under pad back in, and put the carpet back down, and the, and the urine and the odor goes away.